hello guys welcome back to my channel if it's your first time on this channel you are welcome i am an aim potent i'm an author and i also do business now today's video is basically that part of my channel for that part of my channel where we talk about business okay so if you don't already know um i do have a page on facebook and also on instagram called ahp food store limited Okay, that is where I share all the agricultural content. But apart from that company, um, which is yet to be registered officially, I also have two books, okay? One is called Planting for Food, Outdoor Sewing. And the other one is called Planting for Food, Indoor Sewing. All right, so that is basically, you know, those are basically books that... Um, for those of you who are in the UK or even outside of the UK, you can use to um, know what to sew, okay? Whether it's indoors or outdoors. So whether you have a farm or just an ordinary garden or an allotment, you know, um, you can use the, the outdoor sewing one. And if you don't have an outdoor space like myself, you can use the indoor sewing where you basically use either a greenhouse or your windowsill space okay or your conservatory space to grow your food now today i'm going to be showing you how to grow pineapple in the uk hopefully <coughs> behind it's night time in the uk already um it's after nine just a bit after nine and my little one is sleeping because he's got school but even if he didn't have school bedtime is early for him so um so that is basically why the lights the lights are off at this particular moment okay so um so yeah so i'm going to show you how to grow pineapple in the uk now most pineapples are imported or they are but there are places where you can grow it within the uk okay um everywhere else around the uk you can grow it in planting pots in a cool shade now i have the uh, my corridor has a space where I grow basically some crops that needs a shady space but I've got the large roof rooftop window so in summer when it's hot I'll be able to even from now when when it's warm and it's not raining I can open that up and the plants will get enough um sunlight and all of that good stuff okay that they need but even if it's when it's closed there is light coming through on them and it's quite good temperature for them okay it's not too cold and it's not too hot either so i've got a pineapple here which i'm going to be using basically to grow the top so you can grow you can use the top of the pineapple okay to to grow actual pineapples okay i've already got compost in there now this pineapple is basically packed in the uk so it's grown somewhere in the uk here okay and uh, oh it's not it's actually grown in costa rica okay that is why you see that it's not fully ripe okay so I'm just gonna use the knife to cut off the top I'm gonna leave a little bit of Okay. 
actually sweet it's ripe okay so i'm going to basically just plant this directly okay so I've, i'm going to create space in the middle and you just insert it okay so i've used not too big a planting pot but big enough so basically that is that is it okay you don't need these sticks but because i often okay i can take this one now I often use those sticks to support um, my plants as they grow, but I don't need it for the for the pineapple. But it looks uniform because every all the other planting pots have a few of these in them, so it just looks uniform, basically decoration, so to speak. So that is basically it. You just plant it there like that. And um, I've got some some dead plants in there and eggshells and all of that for my compost to keep it healthy because I don't use um, I don't use what's it called chemical fertilizer. Now all I would need because this compost is very dry, as you can see, it's very dry. I'm just going to need some water to water it. Okay, so let's come back with that water okay so i've got a little bit of water there i've been watering this compost anyway preparing it for for like a week um I need a little bit more. I don't want to do too much because I don't want it to, to flood the space that where I'm going to put it. Okay, and then I'm just going to spray it to keep it moist. So I'll be watering it every other day, if not every day, every other day, until it grows and produces fruit. That is basically it, okay? So that is it, that's all you need to know, okay? And uh, so with the rest of the, I'm just gonna put this on my windowsill for now, and then in the morning, I'll put it in my hallway. So that's that and then the rest I'm going to um, peel it and then chop it up nicely and put half in the freezer and half in the fridge okay. 
let me know in the comment section do you grow pineapples in your country let me know um obviously well i'm from uganda originally so we do grow pineapples and um And so I bought this because I'm currently creating um, recipes for my recipe books. So I wanted to make some pina colada. So I thought, mm, I need to make pina colada, but you know, I also need create to create content for my YouTube channel, you know, and um, I don't want to waste you know resources that can be used to create content so i researched if i can grow pi pineapple in the uk if we can grow pineapple in the uk and lo and behold we can so i just thought okay that would be content good content for the channel so it doesn't go to so that the so that the pineapple top doesn't go to waste and so with your pineapple You just have to make sure that like all these brown bits are taken off otherwise they'll um they'll leave a set a very like a sensation a very weird painful sensation on your tongue like a prickly sensation on your tongue which is not nice so That is why it's taking me a while to cut it. That's that. Okay. I don't know. I think. It looks like this pineapple was so mature it has seeds. OMG. It has. Oh my goodness. It actually has seeds. Don't know if you can see that. It actually has seeds. I thought. I thought it was actually um, cress seeds that I was looking at, but no, it actually has its own extra seeds in there. Oh, very interesting. So you can actually grow it from seed if you wanted to, but it's easy to grow, I think, from the... On the tops. Now this bit, this bit I'm going to put on the compost outside. Then 
くなったので。into small chunks, well, medium-sized chunks. Just that. I'll see if my son would want some because it's actually sweet. So I'll see in the morning if he wants some for his. Breakfast. Okay, so these are the ones that I put in the freezer. Let me add. So these I'll put in the freezer because I need some frozen pineapples for pina colada. And then I'll put this in the fridge. And then and then I put these outside. So that is it right now. In the UK, pineapple is in season. I need to fix my my locks. <laughs> um yeah um pineapple is like a lot of these um tropical fruits are in season they're being imported in or um brought into the into the market or supermarket and supermarkets as well but by the local farmers in the uk as well as imported into the uk so if you get your hands on some pineapples, whether it's from your local supermarket or your local market. I got this from my local sh shop. Okay, I got that from Co-op. So, yeah. So you can um, get yourself one and then grow the top if that's what you want to 
if you want to give a go at growing your own pineapple that is it guys have a good night i shall see you in the next video bye